Hey, hi everyone. Yes, I'm back again. So uh, as we were covering about height control when it comes to the redevelopment of landed properties in our last video, there is also another aspect for consideration when it comes to the redevelopment potential of a landed property. Of course, the higher the redevelopment potential means the higher the price potential for the owner of the landed property. And one of the highly sought after landed property type will be those that are actually ready for subdivision. Now, whether you are dividing one unit into two units or even three or more units, the landed housing area zoning will play a very key part in the redevelopment potential. Meaning, the same plot of land with the same dimension or size when being located in different zones will mean that they can actually have different potential. For example, now in a detached zoning, any plot of land to be subdivided has to actually conform to the minimum plot size and the dimensions of a detached home after the subdivision process. It cannot be subdivided into a pair of semi D or a row of terraces. While semi detached houses can only be situated within semi detached zone as well as mixed landed housing zone. So it can also be within a mixed private residential zone. While terraces can only be situated within mixed landed housing zone or a mixed private residential zone. Now, for more information about the plot size and dimensions, you may actually visit BCA website to look into these details or perhaps watch out for later episodes of our videos. So, before you jump into the any opportunity for a big plot of land that looks ideal for redevelopment, it is actually advisable to verify these details via the URA space or you can actually contact any of our consultants at Lender 7722 for assistance. Now, do like this video and subscribe to us if you find this video helpful and watch out for our next video. Once again, this is Gerald from Lender 7722, your compass for landed properties, signing off.